Last year, Asheville was named Bee City USA. And now as the insects are starting to mysteriously disappear nationwide, hundreds of local beekeepers are losing their colonies. And yeah, News 13's Ashley Searles is streaming live in Asheville. How many people are being affected by this bee shortage locally, Ashley? Well, it's estimated that there are more than 600 people across the mountains that either keep bees, sell bees, or profit from their product, at least for now. I'm a full-time commercial beekeeper, uh, produce honey, bees, queens. Last year I made about 6,500 pounds of honey. But this year, John Christie isn't even trying for the honey. There's a beautiful frame of brood. The money is now in selling the bees themselves. We've taken 335 orders for nukes this year, and we have over 200 people on a wish or cancellation list. Usually there's just 25 or so on the wait list. But the Asheville bee industry is shifting to adjust to a nationwide bee shortage. We're seeing that right around here too. A lot of our beekeepers here, whether they're just hobbyists or they're commercial beekeepers, they lost a lot of hives this, this winter. Yeah, you would typically see 10 hives. So on all these blocks, there would be a hive that size. But not this year. We won't have honey to sell this year. Cindy Jordan used to sell her honey at farmer's markets, but she's down to just one hive this year. I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking. Like every single... To come out and see that one more hive was gone and one more hive was gone is just, I mean, it's devastating. You, you work really hard and you nurture these little things and, you know, it's hard. It feels empty. And now, if the shortages hit the industry, many say it's a matter of time before it hits your dinner table. You know, they say about every third bite of food that goes in your mouth was pollinated by a honeybee. And so without the bees, you're going to miss out on a lot of good fruits and vegetables. Uh, you know, an oatmeal diet doesn't sound too good to me. Tomorrow, Chimney Rock State Park will hold their annual Buzz on Bees event. Now, rain or shine, they'll have local vendors out there, and this year, heavy on education as this bee shortage continues. Ashley Searles, News 13.